I don't. Who? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus I Christ. I, I, I would I would prefer my champion to look like he gonna beat somebody's ass, but that's neither here nor there. Well then then you you'll get god dang um uh uh Braun Artest. You should have Braun Breaker. What happened? Cause I I, I feel like I don't it, I can't tell what they think about Braun Breaker. Clearly they're they're feeling know. like he he's a he's a future I don't say megastar, but he feel like he's about to be somebody. But do they not think that he's ready? Do you think he's? Do y'all think he's ready to hold a title? To hold a mid card title? It's a I thought he was. Winning, I thought he was winning this weekend. A lot of people 15, did. Yeah. A lot of people did. We all had him picked for this match, so it was kind of it was kind of surprising to me that he had that match that he had jumping off the ra- ring apron and and. and clothesline motherfuckers on the on the table and whatnot and then still lose to then have because the the stuff on raw mind you he got his his, his hits back but he does he's been doing that for like uh, the last month on yeah, raw. the last month that's, that's how they I, build them that's why i don't understand the l like right I, I understand like a dq l but i don't understand this one for him to come back and get then get a w I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Unless, unless he injures him and then gets the W over somebody else. We think Jonko said they got that first L out the way. Yeah, I. You know what though? I. You right. That's. I think that's a big deal. Is are they are they doing things? Because that's the second thing on this card that they did that kicks them out of. Uh, booking themselves in a corner where we got to worry about some sort of weird streak or whatever. This nigga, this nigga is lost. NXT don't count. No, NXT don't count. If I, I will say it does, it, well, I think NXT counts in getting motherfuckers watching invested. But just sure. Carmelo Hayes, Lyra Valkyria, a lot they get to the main roster. Dragon off, they get to the main roster as dope as they are, and they still at the bottom. They got to work their way up. That's I mean, think think of the, the the recent crop that's that's hit the roster from a couple months ago. Which one of them is is like a a tr- who? Which one of them is holding a belt in a month? Yeah, but it's fucking Braun Breaker. This like this nigga is is legit one of them. That's so what I don't, it, it, I don't know if it, it would matter that it's been a month. I don't, I could, you know what I mean? I'm just speaking for myself. I see, I, I think <clears throat> what happens is, and you notice how they when they bring people up, Michael Cole does that full like, uh, he's telling is, them stories. This is such and such and such because he did such and such and such and such and such. Like, he tell a yeah. whole bio, he reading the bio when these niggas come out because they don't consider like. It's, it's it's separate canon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do really look at it like this per. Not that this person is new, new, because they will reference the NXT stuff. But in regards to the pecking order in in, in storyline and the main roster, they at the bottom. I also feel like it that is is, is pro old school booking because in Canada he would have definitely went over uh, two years ago. Yes, I. If this felt like the moment, I don't, I don't know. I don't know when the next moment, like the, oh shit, he got the title or damn, they finally did. Like we're, I don't know what moment they're building towards with him, what pay-per-view, what show that they're going to finally, you know, give him some gold. But I imagine it's, it, it, if it doesn't happen by the end of this year, I would really be wondering what the, what the. For mid card. Yeah. So let me ask you this question, because I'm, um, you know, I, I think to me, and I know this is going to sound crazy. I think Ron Breaker is, I think, did you say, fam, two years ago, he would have got that title in Canada. Mm-hmm. I think Ron Breaker is such a Vince McMahon era kind of wrestler, in my personal opinion. Um, What his character does, and I'm speaking purely from a character space, because I actually like him in ring a lot. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know how that character translates. Ron Breaker? Yeah. I, 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 because the character, to me, doesn't have much dimension. There's not a and lot there. If we're going to be a monster, 
the problem I have with that angle is you got Braun Strowman on that ro- roster. You got Bobby Lashley on that roster. You got guys who look like legit monsters. Braun, you're a little bit short. Um, you got, got lifts in your boots, mm-hmm. and as far as muscle mask, your muscle mask is great, but it's not so intimidating that I'm believing you just destroying everybody. You know what you I'm saying? Think, you don't think this nigga looks like a monster? Um, he <laughs> looks like a. But let's see what he looked like next to Braun Strowman. Let's see what he looked like next to uh, Bobby Lashley. Let's see what he looked like next to those kind of guys. But the, see, the only per like. Uh, the, the the person that I'm I'm rocking with you with is Bobby Bobby Lashley. Right. I don't count Braun Strowman as a monster. That nigga's like a, the the clown show to me. His knees hurt. But Bobby Lashley, I'm with, I'm with you. But so let me ask you this question, man. And I'm sorry, I cut you off. No, right? no, I cut you off. Go ahead. Um, let me ask you this question: Do you still believe he's a monster standing next to Oba Femi? Oh shit! Who? Braun Breaker. Breaker. No, because exactly. because Obafemi is a problem. Obafemi makes Bobby Lashley would make Bobby Lashley look the same. Yeah, look like nervous. a little ass boy. Mm-hmm. I don't so know about that, but you make him nervous. Presentation wise, Braun's probably a monster next to everybody. What they've been doing with him, that little lap around the goddamn ring, the the the, the old Braun used to do, you know what I mean? LeBron Strowman used to do. Mm-hmm. They, they switched it over to yeah. I, I think they're still booking him like a monster. I don't I don't know if it matters. Like I think if niggas is taller than him, it's gonna be believable when he run through him because he's a nut. He is a nut. That nigga reminds me of Kurgan. This nigga right here, Braun Strowman. Yeah, I, I feel bad for Braun having to run around that ring. I'll tell you that this, much. This, because his legs look like they hurt. This, this, yeah, he, he do move like um. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that man was. I, just, I think so. I'm sorry. In NXT, Braun Strowman felt a certain kind of way because of the booking and everything like that, and also too. As as the BRP resident NXT uh, person, here he go. Um, because I feel like I am right because I'm watching every day. Um, that's a very easy question. Just say. (laughs) At the time when Braun, to to be fair, at the time when Braun Breaker was champion in NXT, Hmm. Obafemi didn't exist then. He was looking like a monster next to Carmelo Hayes, who in body type matches him a little. Cause, it's, cause it's, it's, like a monster next to Carmelo Hayes. Right, exactly. Uh, so I look at the era. He also was the champion in NXT. All right, put the bird back in. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like figuring it out, right? So I'm not discrediting his run as NXT champion because it's very valid, but also, too, I'm looking at it with a lot of different factors. Mm. And when you come on main roster and you have your 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 whole thing is I'm a monster. I've run through people. I'm the dog. No. Oof, oof, oof. Trick is not a monster. No. No, Trick's not a monster. He's very charismatic, though. <clears throat> yeah. But um, you see your monster all monster again. When you like the monster guy. Mm-hmm. That does, and, and there's no dimension to that monster. That presents a problem when you go into a place where you have guys who legit look like monsters. Like, does he look like a monster next to Drew McIntyre? No. Uh, no. This picture does make him look a little smaller. So, stature wise, you talk. So I. The monster is in the stature, but I also think it's in the action as well. Oh, absolutely. And he gives monster action, but is that enough when you don't have a monster real like Like physique? Is he a monster or a demon? So all right, wait a minute. Yeah, he's (laughs) so so at one point in time, Rick Steiner was a monster. He yeah. 
Rick was yeah. also more buff looking, and he had a personality. Rick was, Rick was a, a big guy. Rick was wilder. If you if some of those matches, Scott looked like he had his head at least a little screwed on a little better than Rick. Rick was just going on there throwing motherfuckers and jumping crazy. off the top rope and shit. He, he yeah, was going absolutely crazy. And they used to they used to rain, rain it in. in. Yeah, yeah. That's well, true. I'm and I I I believed Rick Steiner, so I guess this this just. I don't know, bro. But I, 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 I'm, I'm with Braun Breaker. I think Braun Breaker is one of them guys. Oh no, I think he's gonna be great. You, they're gonna make sure that he's great. It's certain people right. that they're gonna, no matter what, um, you know, grievances you may have with their presentation, their character, whatever, the company is gonna make them a thing. Mm-hmm. And they made that very clear when they said that Braun Breaker would be a problem or a focus going into the Netflix era. Yeah, he well, he feels like this is his pre Roman Reigns push era. They're trying to figure out what's going on with him. But once, when, when you you'll know, you'll know when when he's got that that uh, rocket strapped to his back and it, it's starting to just 